outstanding good players approaching her thousand point mark uh, tonight with me I have Jenny Mann Jenny uh, what are your thoughts uh, on the ball game tonight well I think Gate City's gonna do a really good job Gate City's really fired up for this game tonight and I think they have the advantage over Twin Springs and good luck to Lisa Carter we're really rooting for her tonight number 42 Stacy Horn was uh, excuse me, number 32 uh, Honda Hillman coming out starting for or, uh, Twin Springs. Number 14, uh, Jennifer Bond now on your screen there. Coming out now is number 42, Stacy Horn. Number 22 will be appearing here in a moment. Carol Maxey. Maxey, a tall, lanky young girl. Number 24, I believe it is there, and we do not, yes, we do. Melissa Broadwater up there. So that is your uh, team for uh, Twin Springs. And now our homestanding Gate City Blue Devils. Number 23 at guard, Kathy Wanniger. At the other point guard, Deanne McConnell. McConnell does a lot of handling the ball, doesn't she? She sure does. She's really good at it, too. Number 15, tall, lean and mean, Michelle Lane. Karen Cowton, number 32, big center for Gate City. Uh, does a good job underneath the boards. And here's the lady of the evening, number 14, team captain and senior Lisa Carter. Now they get their go big blue in there. Looks like uh, it should be a good ball game. The last time these two teams met, Gate City came out way on top. Um, a good ball game. Lisa Carter, uh, we're going to be mentioning her a lot tonight because of... Uh, the thousand points plateau one thing we might add this will probably be the last gate city player that reaches the thousand point plateau without a tremendous contribution from the three-point line mm -hmm. lisa carter she's really done good and it is a great accomplishment to have one thousand points uh, have your name said you've made one thousand points okay kathy weininger now with the ball for gate city she'll be handling down on top of the key pass over to michelle lane Lane looking back to Weininger. Weininger dribbles, passes back to Lane. Lane working the basketball, takes a shot of about 15 feet, misses it, and the ball is going to be scrambled underneath. Got a foul call. I believe it's going to go on Deanne McConnell. It'll be Gate City's ball underneath. Lisa Carter will be inbounding the ball for Gate City. She finds Kathy Weininger. Kathy out to McConnell. McConnell into Carter. Carter drives. Out to Michelle Lane. Back out to Carter. Carter drives. Shoots it. Doesn't fall. Rebound by Michelle Lane. Her shot's up, and it's in there. All right. Bringing the ball down for the Lady Titans. Comes number 32, Conda Hillman. Hillman passing down to number 24, Broadwater. Broadwater back up to Hillman. Hillman working the top of the key area, looking around, setting up the offense for Twin Springs. Pass in the corner to number 14. She'll look back on top to Hillman. Hillman looks inside to number 24, Broadwater. She goes back out on top and over to number 22. About a 15-footer will not fall. Rebound by Deanna McConnell. She finds Kathy Weiniger, and Kathy brings it down the court for Gate City. Kathy looks inside. She finds Lisa Carter on the corner. Lisa drives, takes a shot. It's in there. The bucket counts, and she also draws the foul. Lisa Carter will be brought to the line. Okay, so that is two of Carter's uh, 20 that she needs tonight and has the opportunity for uh, attack on point there for the three. Let's see what Lisa Carter can do with these shots. Lisa's a really good foul shot shooter. First shot's up, and it's in there. Okay, number 14. Jennifer Bond, Bond working the ball into Hillman. Hillman back to Bond and down to Broadwater. Excuse me, that's Carol Maxey. Maxey crosses half court, slows things down just a bit. 6.37 to play in the first period. Really just getting underway. Gate City ahead by five. Five to nothing, the score. Working around on top there to Hillman. Hillman over to and around to number 14. She'll drive. The shot is no good. Comes down on a battle ball there to uh, McConnell. McConnell gives the ball to Kathy Weiniger, and Kathy brings it up the court for the Lady Devils. She looks inside, and she takes a sh long shot. 
Oh, just misses. Rebound by Karen Counton. She shoots. Won't fall. Rebound by Kathy Weininger. Passes to Lisa Carter. Lisa shoots. Won't go. All kinds of shots underneath the goal for Gate City, but they won't. They just won't go in. Maybe the cap's on the thing for them just a little bit earlier tonight. Conda Hillman driving for Gate City against McConnell. Passes out and working back around. Back to Hillman. Ball in the corner. Almost thrown away by Michelle Lane. Working on top is Hillman. Back over to number 22, Carol Maxey. Maxey, one of the tallest players on the Titans team. Working it over in the corner. Working against Michelle Lane. Gate City in a zone defense being very effective. Passing into the corner. Almost gets away. Manages to bring it down. On top to Maxey. Maxey tries to go inside. And a foul will be called, I believe, there on Karen Cowton. Karen uh, just leans into those things a little sometimes. Yes, yeah, she really puts her body into her basketball playing and sometimes it works out to uh, help her and sometimes it goes against her. She is a big strong girl and is a is going to be probably one of Gate City's uh, big guns a little later on. She uh, has played well and this is her first starting varsity year. On top uh, Maxie back to uh, the little young lady wearing number 32 Conda Hillman. Hillman over to 42 down in the corner is number 14, Bond. Bond on to uh, around and back. And shot is up. Will not fall. It's going to be battle after Deanne, uh, excuse me, that's Lisa Carter. Carter clearing the board for Gate City. Carter brings it across the timeline. And she looks. She gives it to Kathy Weininger. Kathy will bring it up to the top of the key. She hands over to Amy Morris. Amy looks, takes a shot, and it's in there for two. Great shot by Amy Morris. Morris can put the ball up from long range. The inbound is Jennifer Bond. Bond into Conda Hillman. Number 22, Maxi down court, passing off to number 24. Almost gets away. Carter playing tough there. A little defensive move, almost swapped the ball away. Hillman with a shot, will not fall. Going to come down to number 14. She puts it right back up. And it's going to be Twin Springs ball out of bounds. I didn't catch who had the hand in there, did you? No, sure didn't. All kinds of players had their hands in there. Number 22 uh, checking in Jones for Gate City. Ball goes up, and Karen Cowton's going to get the push foul called on her. That's two quick fouls on Cowton. She's uh, tough on defense. Sometimes uh, you get just a little bit over anxious and can get the hand in. I know from experience being tall is... Uh, and the first shot is good, and that will put one point on the board for uh, Twin Springs. The score now seven to nothing. Cowton is going to make probably one of the finest basketball players on Gate City's team. She keeps working hard. White ball goes over to the blue. Lisa Carter will throw the ball in for Gate City. She gives it to Kathy Weininger, and Kathy brings it down the court for the Lady Devils. Kathy at the top of the key. Looks, finds Amy Morris, long pass. Amy takes a shot, and it doesn't fall. Rebound by number 14, Bond. Bond bringing the ball across half court on the pass to, uh, I believe that is, uh, I missed that one just completely. That's all there is to it. 24, shot, no good. Comes down to Lisa Carter. Lisa's really getting in there and getting those rebounds, and she'll bring it across the court for... Gate City. Kathy Weiniger now with the ball. She passes. Oh, Lisa Carter ends up with it. Lisa drives, takes a shot, is short, won't fall, rebound by Twin Springs. And they'll bring the ball down. Conda Hillman on top there, working a left round, trying to get Twin Springs offense going. Not much for them so far this night. Pass back out to Hillman, over to Maxi. Maxi looking to number 24, Broadwater. Over to Maxi again and back around the top of the key. Gate City trapping well tonight in their uh, zone defense. In and out, and the rebound will come down to Lori Jones. Lori hands off to Kathy Weiniger, and Kathy will bring it across the timeline for the Lady Devils. Kathy at the top of the key. She looks, finds Lisa Carter. Lisa looks, drives, back out to Lori Jones, over to Weiniger. Weiniger shoots, and won't go in. Rebound by Twin Springs. Twin Springs, number 24, bringing the ball down quickly. They got a two-on-one, and Kathy Weiniger committing a smart foul there. Uh, 
you don't have much choice. You either are going to commit the foul coming from behind or just going to give them the free shot. Uh, so Weininger playing heads up basketball there, committing the foul, uh, almost a sure layup standing under the goal. And uh, it's a little better chance that they'll miss one of the two, one of the two shots from the free throw line. Shot is up and in. Two points now for Twin Springs, both coming from the free throw line. Lisa Carter with uh, three of Gate City's seven. We are keeping track of her tonight. She is approaching the 1,000 point plateau. Rebound was by Kathy Weiniger and she'll bring it down the court. She sets up for the Lady Devils. And she calls a timeout. Well, with time out on the floor, we've got uh, 217 left to play in the first period. We're looking at a 7-2 to lead. That's not a great big lead for Gate City uh, at this stage of the ball game. Somebody's uh, moving a little bit of uh, gentle offense tonight, not, not rushing things, I don't think. Do you? Well, they're, they're trying. They'll just need to get into the game right now. They're, the start of the game is always kind of hard. You just need to get into the game and get into the action. The... Uh, the uh, slower offense, Gate City usually a little, uh, little more running, uh, seems to be working well though against Twin Springs. Twin Springs not able to do anything with Gate City right now, uh, especially down here on uh, Twin Springs into the court. Gate City is playing some super defense. Yeah, Gate City has a great zone defense that they play uh, against the offensive team, and it really is an effective defensive. Um, it really works well for the Lady Devils. Looks like Carter will be taking the ball out over here on the side as we resume play. And maybe she'll be inbounding to Weiniger, and she does. Weiniger sets it up. She looks, finds Lisa Carter. Lisa out to Amy Morris. Amy over to Weiniger. Weiniger shoots. Won't go in. Rebound by Amy Morris. Amy out to Lisa Carter. Lisa shoots. Long shot. Nice one, too, by Lisa Carter. Okay, so that gives Lisa Carter five points on the night. Minute 55 to play, and the ball comes into Conda Hillman. Hillman passing to number 22, Maxi. Gate City trapping, and they steal the ball away, get it loose anyway into the backcourt. So uh, Twin Springs able to recover. Conda Hillman with a long pass comes down, stolen away by Michelle Lane. Lane passing to McConnell and back to Weininger to, to bring it up. Weiniger looks inside. Uh, she finds Amy Morris. Amy over to Lisa Carter. Lisa drives. Pass tipped away there by one of the Twin Springs players. Kathy Weiniger now driving out to Lisa Carter. Lisa shoots. Oh, doesn't go. Rebound by Deanna McConnell, and she puts it up, and it's in there for two. We're starting to see Gate City play a lot better team ball. They are working together well. And as Twin Springs brings the ball down, Bond bring it down, passing off quickly, and she'll be trapped underneath there. We got a foul going to go on uh, McConnell. A little chop there, I believe, as she tried to move around to the side. Lori Jones will be coming into the game now for Gate City. Also, number 20, May, will be coming into the game for Twin Springs. On the line, number 14, uh, Jennifer Bond will be looking at two shots. 58 seconds, Gate City leading by nine. The score 11 to two. It's uh, a real rivalry between Gate City and Twin Springs. Our neighbor up the road uh, between Nicholsville and uh, Dungannon and Fort Blackmore, they're all kind of situated there and Twin Springs more or less in the center of that area. They draw from all those schools uh, as we draw from Weber City, Hilton's and that area. Carter with the ball now, bringing it down for Gate City. Carter will set up the Lady Devils offense. She passes over to Amy Morris. Amy looks back out to Carter. Carter takes a long shot. Oh, just misses. And there'll be a foul called on Lisa Carter. She uh, was playing some heavy defense there and just, just managed to get the hand in on it. 43 seconds. Uh, Again, everything Twin Springs has got has been from the free throw line. They can't get inside on that fantastic Gate City defense. Yeah, Gate City really good on defense and fantastic on offense, too. 
there'll be a foul called on Karen Cowton. That makes her third foul already in the first quarter of the game. Coach Sandy Black will maybe be getting a little nervous on the foul situation on Cowton. Of course, he does have uh, a couple of good reserve players. Lori Jones, who is in right now, along with, uh, I believe the other one is in there, Michelle Lane can play that position. I have seen him move uh, Carter into that position, too. Uh, so very flexible Gate City team. First shot uh, won't fall, and we'll see what she does with the second one. And that one's in, so four points on free throws for Twin Springs. Lisa brings the ball into Lori Jones. Lori met by some Twin Springs defensive players who are playing good defense right now. Lisa, long pass to Deanne McConnell, over, stolen away by uh, Twin Springs. Vaughn did a good job getting the hand in there and draft, dropping that ball down. Gate City quickly getting back on the defensive. Out on top, number 32, Hillman, working against uh, number 34 of Gate City. Tries to go inside and finds the open man, and there it is. Finally, two points from the field for number 24, Melissa Broadwater. Lisa hands the ball in to Amy Morris, and Lisa makes a long pass to Deanne McConnell, but it's over her head, and that'll be the end of the first quarter of play. Okay, so we have got 11-6. Uh, to six. Gate City cheerleaders are coming out onto the floor, and we'll try to get to Ivan to bring the camera around and get a good shot of these young ladies. They will be doing a little dance routine, I understand, at halftime here for us. So we'll, uh, we will keep you uh, in here on that. Folks, I want to say something while I've got the opportunity. Jenny Mann has been coming up here doing this uh, with us, and we have had some awful good comments on her. Uh, she's, uh, what, what is this for you, your year in, in high school? This is my freshman year in high school. Freshman year, so you're 15 or 14, right? I'm 14. She's 14 years old, and it takes a lot of guts to come up here and do this, and we're awful proud of her. If you see her around, tell her, uh, tell her how well she's doing, because it does help when you're trying to start out and learn, and uh, we are going to try to uh, work in uh, helping some of the youngsters at Gate City High School. We have been using P.J. Grinzel a bit. He is a senior. And we have to have someone who can talk as well as PJ by the time they're a senior, so you're it. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. okay, that's fine with me. I love doing this. On the ball there, number 14, Bond, passing off on top to Hillman. Hillman to number 20, who's new in the game. And this ball's going to come off to Lisa Carter. Lisa, really good on get, uh, getting, she's a real hustler. She gets after the ball. She passes over to Kathy Weininger. Kathy Weininger over to Jones, back to Lisa. Lisa looks, she dribbles, and the ball is knocked away. It'll be Twin Springs ball. 7.28 to play in this half of basketball, just the first half. Gate City ahead, 11 to six. And the ball bopped up by Carter. And looky there, thank you, Miss Conda Hilman, for slapping the ball on the way down, says Gate City's players. Cause that was definitely out on Lisa. And uh, she will inbound the ball to Weininger. Weiner will set it up for Gate City. She'll pass off to, oh, it'll be stolen by Twin Springs. Nikki and and goes back to Weiner. Go ahead. That, got, a, got a double dribble on Weiner. All kinds of action happens in just a few seconds right there. We couldn't hardly take it all in. <laughs> it's quick. And I like to see a good basketball game, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Twin Springs, Conda Hillman passing into Maxie. Maxie over to May. Back to Maxie. She'll shoot one up about 13 feet. Comes down to Carter, but bounced out of bounds there by number 20, Nikki May. So Gate City will retain possession. Lisa Carter gives the ball to Kathy Weiniger, and Kathy will bring it down the court for the Lady Devils. She passes to Lisa Carter back to Weiniger. Weiniger sets up their offense over to Lori Jones. Lori into Michelle Lane. Michelle Lane shot up over the goal. Rebound by Lisa Carter. Lisa takes a long shot. Nice, nothing but net shot by Lisa Carter. Okay, they just gave her two on that, folks. She was not outside the three-point line, so that gives her seven on the night. And number 24, Broadwater with a shot in there. Makes it uh, nine to thir excuse me, eight to 13, Gate City's favor. Kathy Weiniger. Something's wrong here. I believe they're going to wonder, and I would too, 
on what was going on there, trying to slow it down uh, enough so they get things back in control. Gate City did have the ball game wrapped tightly, and something has come a little loose on the old wheel, and they're going to tighten it up. Coach Blackwell, uh, very, very astute coach, probably one of the best uh, Highland District basketball coaches. He seems to always produce a, a one or two uh, ranked team in the high school ranks, don't you think? Yeah, he does a really good job with the girls. We practice, the JV practices with him sometimes, and he's tough on us, but it helps us to learn. It helps us to be better basketball players. He is fair about things, too, and very consistent. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of discipline is needed to play ball at this level, and that is what Gate City gets, the, the right kind of discipline with the right kind of hand, and it makes a world of difference. I know you girls love him. Yeah, we really appreciate our coaches. They're wonderful. Lisa Carter will throw the ball into Kathy Weiniger, and she'll bring it up the court for the Lady Devils. She passes over to Lori Jones. Lori into Michelle Lane. Michelle looks. Nowhere to go into Lisa Carter. Lisa shoots, and it won't go. Rebound by Kathy Weiniger. And the ball is, there's a scramble for the ball, but Lisa Carter ends up with it. Over to Weiniger. Weiniger looks. She long pass over to Lori Jones. Jones back to Weiniger. Weiniger takes a shot, and it won't go either. Rebound by Deanne McConnell, but the ball is knocked out by a Twin Springs player. I didn't catch who it was, but it'll be Gate City Ball. McConnell's a real hustler. She doesn't get a lot of credit a lot of times. But she is the probably number two hustler on Gate City's uh, offensive and defensive team. Yeah, D McConnell is really a quick player. Amy Morris with a long shot. Nothing but net for Amy Morris. Nice shot there by Amy. Inbounding is Bond. Bond into Conda Hillman. Hillman working the ball down the sideline here and comes, uh, whoa, and who's going to wind up with it? Gate City, of course. Gate City doing a really good job on defense. Long past Amy Morris over her head. It'll be Twin Springs ball. Amy Morris was not quite as tall as Lisa was thinking there, and the ball just drifted just out of her reach. Not much, though. It was a, was a definitely well-designed idea. Conda Hillman coming down. She's working against two Gate City defenders, Weininger and McConnell out there hanging tough. And Gate City will force the jump and will go over to Gate City. Nice job there by Amy Morris. She tied the ball up for Gate City. Lisa Carter brings the ball in to Kathy Weininger. Kathy brings it across the timeline. She is looking inside. She finds Lisa Carter. Lisa looks. She drives. Out to Morris. Morris at the top of the key over to Weiniger. Weiniger looks inside, finds Michelle Lane. Michelle with a shot. Oh, nice what a hook. shot. What a hook. I'll tell you, I would like to see the see that in boys basketball. That was tremendous. Number 14, Vaughn going inside and gonna get a foul on Michelle Lane. Number 22 into the ball game now for Twin Springs. Carol Maxey. And number 14 will be going to the line. Jennifer Bond, half of the Twin Springs points have come from the free throw line, and that will add another one. Brings the score to 17 for Gate City, 9 for Twin Springs. Cross County rivalry going on here. Second shot will fall also, so it pulls them within seven. Kathy Weiniger with the ball. Tight press by Twin Springs. She passes over to McConnell. McConnell over to Lane. Lane shoots and she draws a foul by number 14, Bond. And that'll bring Michelle Lane to the line. When you press, you can leave that back door open. And that's what they were, they were playing there. Uh, and that's what happened. So that'll put Lane on the line. She was, uh, she had, if the foul hadn't been there, the two points would have been. Michelle shoots, and the first one does not fall. Let's see what she can do with this second shot. The shot is up, and it's in there. All right, Twin Springs now take the ball. Uh, Jennifer Bond, who inbound, goes into uh, number 32, Honda Hillman. Hillman working it down. 
cross court pass headed for Maxey, and that ball tapped away there. Foul going to be called number 24 on Melissa Broadwater. She was trying to get control of the ball again and uh, believe that Gate City's in the bonus. No, they are not. So we've got it out over here on the side. Lisa will throw the ball in for Gate City, and she throws it in to Kathy Weininger. Kathy at the top of the key. Pass over to McConnell. McConnell looks back over to Weininger. Weininger over to Morris. Morris inside the lane. Ball is knocked away there by number 24, Broadwater, and it'll be Gate City ball. Carter throws the ball in for Gate City. She gives it to Kathy Weininger over to Morris. Morris to Carter. Carter, long pass over to McConnell. And McConnell with a kind of a strange pass there. <laughs> It'll be... White ball, he's saying. Red tipped it. White ball. Okay. Lisa Carter will throw the ball in for Gate City. She gives it to Weininger. Weininger across the timeline. Weininger dribbles. She passes off to Morris. Morris looks over to Carter. Carter dribbles. Pass over to Weininger. Weininger takes the shot, and it's in there. Nice shot by Kathy Weininger. So Vaughn will bring the ball in for the Lady Titans. Working to Con Hillman. Oh, hello, Miss Bond. She didn't see that one coming. Pass back to Vaughn this time. Trapped over in the corner. Pass to Con Hillman over to Maxi. Maxi working the ball around the top of the key. Looks inside to Broadwater. Shot up and in. Nice move there by number 24. Lisa hands the ball in to Kathy Weiniger. Kathy will bring it up the court. Met by the Titans defensive players. She loses. Deanne McConnell now has the ball pass over to Michelle Lane. Michelle shot up and it's in there for two. Lane is having a good night. She really is. Bring the ball down. Conda Hillman. Hillman passing to number 42. Horn. Horn looking inside for Jennifer Bond. Shot is up. Will not fall. Comes down on a battle with who else but McConnell in there right in the middle of it. Scrapping for Gate City. She is a game player. She's really, she's quick. She's got her speed and everything, and she's really aggressive player. She and Lisa Carter complement each other quite well at the forward position. Lori Jones will come into the game now for Amy Morris. Inbounding is Conda Hillman. Hillman tries to go to Maxie and winds up in a log jam there, so to speak. On top to Bond. Bond will take it and it'll go for two. To score 22 to 14, Gate City. Lisa into Weiniger. Weiniger back to Carter. Carter long pass over McConnell's head. It'll be Twin Springs ball. Well, Twin Springs um, has played some good basketball against Gate City tonight, uh, as we have just a second here. 2.06 on the clock and we're about to get back underway. Inbounding is Bond. Bond looking down and back around, and it'll come back to her. She loses control and falls down to Lori Jones. Jones walks. Just one too many steps there. I believe she may have just might have had uh, someone coming in behind her. Twin Springs with the ball. Going to come down and just roll right out of bounds. There's been a few wild passes in this game, but there's been a lot of action. This has been a really exciting game. Amy Morris will throw the ball in for Gate City, and there'll be a red time called. Well, while we've got time out, uh, let's look at what's happening out here on the floor a little bit. Gate City uh, doing a good job. They really are. The defense has been impressive. Uh, little, things getting a little, a little out of control from time to time, but. I have to say one thing, they are playing a, uh, a well-coached team from Twin Springs, and it's keeping the ball game interesting. Gate City has a really good defense. There are not as many points on the board as we usually see from Gate City, but they're really doing a good job. They've got a fantastic defense, as we've mentioned many times uh, in this first half, but it's just really outstanding. They jam up the middle and it just prevents any inside shots for Twin Springs. If they get, as well, as I was saying earlier, a lot of their points have just come from the free throw line. 
Gate City's uh, committing fouls. The only person really in any foul trouble, Karen Cowton. Uh, it's just been a little scattered around fouls.